through a, a lot of thinking and a lot of talking, I have actually decided that the Australian Open is going to be my last ever professional tennis tournament. Um, yeah, done. Calling it, uh, calling it time here at home, and you know, looking for the next chapter. And here's wow. the tweet that Sam sent out right around the same time. Thanks, guys. It's been one hell of a ride, as he announced it to the Australian newspapers this morning, Melbourne time. Guys, we, we've gotten to know Sam over the years, and not just because he's part of my tennis life and not just because his fiance Brittany, was an intern for us here at Tennis Channel, just because he's one of those tennis players that's always happy with a, a thought and a chat and a beer at the hotel. Um, such a likable guy. What, what, what are your thoughts on, on his career and his prospects going forward as uh, he hangs them up? Well, I think he was playing rugby for a while. Aussie rules football. Aussie rules football. And then he came back to tennis, um, you know, huge serve, obviously known at the beginning. I remember hearing about that from him and then had some, some great results as well. I just think that, you know, he's going out on his terms. In other words, he's getting to decide, not because of an injury. But I think as a tennis player, you just kind of know when it's time. You know, whether it's been too long without uh, moving up the rankings, um, whether you're tired of, of traveling, um, you know, and it, it He's doing it at the Australian Open. It's the right time to do. I, know, I think that he'll have a, a terrific rest of his life because, as you said, he is so personable. I spent some time with him in Newport, Rhode Island, and, I mean, the mm -hmm. guy is a blast to be around and always so positive. So good luck in your next, your next chapter. Yeah, he's only 30 years old. No matter what you do, it's the end of the story. But everyone's got their own highlights, right? We all have certain memories mm -hmm. that... Uh, we go through and, and that we cherish about what we do when we play. And, and you know, Sam has created some of them for himself. Um, and this is one of them last year on court 18 at Wimbledon. Look at this Whoa. around the net. <laughs> How about that one? That's uh, one he's got to remember. But look, he's just one of those guys that's so likable. And it's amazing to see a big frame move oh. that fast. We talked about, 13, what an athlete. look at that. We talked about him playing Aussie, was it Aussie Rules? Yeah, he did. Yeah. But Aussie Rules, I mean, he's a big boy. And just that personality, likable, charismatic, always smiling, um, just a passionate guy. So best of luck. It's a new chapter. It'll be a fun chapter. He, he never did make the top 40. He had some really important Davis Cup wins yep. for Australia. And I have a feeling that he'll be sitting in a chair very much like one of these before it's all said and done. He's a great guy. So to Sam and to Brittany, uh, good luck in the next chapter. We